All right, guys, for today's quick terminology tip, we're gonna be talking ballet directions. So we're gonna talk about en avant, décoté, and en arrière. Those are our ballet directions. When we're taking a movement forward, en avant, we're taking it to the side, décoté, or we're taking it to the back, en arrière. And don't get on to me about my French pronunciation. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I don't speak French. This is my Americanized way of saying the ballet terms. But nevertheless, let's take a look at what it looks like in motion. All right, let's look at these directions, shall we? So first up, we have en avant, which means forward. So you could do a glissade en avant, glissade forward. You could do a balancé en avant. Then we have décoté, which is to the side. So you could take your balancé décoté. That's the most obvious one. You could take a seesaw décoté. Try not to jump because it makes my camera shake. And then we have on arrière, which is when we're moving backward, right? So you could have a susu that moves on arrière. You could have a, um, I'm going to go see some again because I can't think of anything else. See some that moves on arrière. But basically, you have en avant to the front, décoté to the side, and en arrière to the back. Those are your directional terms for movement. So when your teacher says a step and then adds en avant, that means it's moving forward. When they add on décoté, that means it's moving to the side. And when they add on en arrière, that means it's moving to the back. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Like it, share it with a new ballet buddy. And let me know in the comments below, does your teacher use these terms when they're teaching a ballet class? Did you already know these terms? Are they newer to you? Do you hear them often in your class? I want to know. If you're new here, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Check out all the links below so we can get to know each other better. And I'll see you in my next video.